I am here before you today, Council, to remind you of the detrimental effects of monopoly. Austin Energy, the sole publicly owned utility in town, is no exception to this age old law. As political philosopher William Ledger wrote in the Evening Post in 1834, the sum and substance of our whole legislation is the granting of monopolies. The bargaining and trucking away of charter privileges is the whole business of our lawmakers. The people of this great state fondly imagine that they govern themselves, but they do not. And this is precisely the situation we see today with Austin Energy. The people of Austin are not governing themselves when it comes to the public utility, no matter what illusion of self-rule in the company may be forbade. We look at the proposed increases in the specter of raising property taxes, which some council members have publicly mulled, and it becomes abundantly evident that Austin Energy's current budgetary course is unsustainable. Austin Energy is in the red $75 million this year alone. But what's not mentioned is the $103 million in funds that were sent from the utility to the city's general fund for 2012. It is this misuse of funds which installs a hidden tax on Austinites and gives impetus to a rate increase. Your own appointed Electric Utility Commission warned you of the excessive 9.1% of Austin Energy's revenue being used for general fund transfers, that it was paying too much for expenses non-related to the utility. Member Bernie Bernfeld even said that the City Council did not respond to years of warning about the excessive spending. This money was used for such projects as $90,000 for the Central Texas Clean Air Task Force, $54,000 on sickle cell anemia research, $50,000 for the 2010 Green Living Hub and Home Products Expo, $650,000 since 2009 for the African American Men and Boys Conference and Hispanic Futures Conference, and $8.5 million for the city's Economic Growth and Redevelopment Services Office. This spending is completely unrelated to energy production and is unfathomable. You have been derelict in your duties of minding the public purse. And that's not even to mention the $1.8 billion in 25-year wind energy contract giveaways to Duke Energy, MAP Royalty, and foreign Spanish-owned Iberdrola Renewables, the fourth largest utility in the world. Austin Energy must curtail its expenses if it is to remain solvent in future years. All money sent to the general fund transfer for non-essential energy programs and services must be stopped and the out of control contracts downsize to the point of no impact. This is the burden monopoly puts on the people and you as an angler of the public debt must know the consequences of your actions. Thank you.